Meet the future of life sciences. Hi, my name is Rita Strack. I graduated Rose Holman in 2005 and I double majored in applied biology and biochemistry. Hey, my name is Amber Brannon. Um, I graduated from Rose Holman in 2006 with a degree in applied biology and then I went on to medical school and I'm currently a third year medical student. I'm currently a fourth year graduate student at the University of Chicago in the Department of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. There's no limit to what these grads are capable of and it all started here at Rose Holman Institute of Technology. I actually got a very good scholarship and wanted to stay in the state to use that scholarship. Um, so that was one of the major reasons I chose Rose Holman. I knew that it was the best place for me in the state um, and I honestly didn't know where I'd go if I went out of state anyway. Um, for how young the department was when I went here, they really had an incredible grasp of the things I would need either in industry or in graduate school. I really got a solid background in chemistry, solid background in physics, and solid background in math. Um, my main advice would be to take advantage of um, the math department and the computer science department here at Rose Holman. So this is the only time in your life where someone is going to teach you how to program. You're going to know, need to know how to do it and if you have um, the opportunity to get taught by experts who know how to teach and their, you know, their interest is in teaching you how to do these things, you have that opportunity here. My advice would be in hindsight, instead of maybe taking another biology elective, take a computer science elective, learn C++ while you're young and while you're, while you're doing it, while other people are learning it with you because it's much harder in hindsight to go back and try to teach yourself something. The one thing that really comes to mind is the work ethic that I developed here at Rose Holman, just being taught how to study um, and to have the endurance, I guess, honestly, to study as long as it's required to do well in medical school. And then I did study a little bit for the MCAT, which is the admission test to medical school. Um, but overall, I would say that my courses prepared me adequately without much extra work. Um, the course load was a lot, of course, but it seemed appropriate um, for the transition to medical school because I was used to studying, you know, most of the night, most days of the week. So um, that was easier for me when I got to medical school because you really have to devote your life to medical school. and basically study all the time. So, <laughs> Getting their foot in the door is half the battle, but once inside, employers quickly learn just how prepared a Rose Holman grad is and how valuable they can be from day one. At least when I was here, every applied biologist had to um, do a senior thesis with, in a lab, so all of us had at least a year of hands-on research, so that was fantastic. And in addition to those experiences, I, uh, I did two research experiences outside of the university at major research institutes. I'm probably going to pursue a career in academic research, which means um, immediately after my PhD I'll do a postdoc and then um, hopefully it'll be a really good one and I'll be competitive for jobs out there in the real world. I'm not really sure what field of medicine I want to go into, so that's a concern of mine to stay at the top of my class so that I don't close any doors along the way. Um, and I've, I've made that transition well with my um, education here at Rose Holman, so it did prepare me well. Uh, if you were to start it all over again today, college that is, would you do anything different? Um, I would probably get more exposure to medicine while I was in my undergraduate um, program. Other than that, I can't really think of anything curriculum wise to change. I felt well prepared. Um, I, don't know, I, I was happy with it.